But I think where I'd like to focus the rest of our time is on creating an evaluation plan. So that might sound really daunting, and we are here to help you with that. So when you're thinking about evaluating, remember it's important to, but the purpose of the pilot is to test your idea, to see if it has the results that you expected or some other kind of results, um, to see if the cause and effect relationship that you expect will exist actually does. So what I am proposing for folks is instead of creating an entire evaluation plan, in this stage, thinking just about what it is you could look for to see if something's working. Um, so think about what results you would want to see. And the way to think about that is in terms of change. Are, is there going to be a kind of change that you're going to see or something else? Is there going to be a change in page views on Wiki to the articles where you've posted facts? Um, is there going to be a change in behavior? Are people going to do something differently, like click on something? Um, are you asking people to use a QR code um, or do something else? I think making a list of four or five things that you think people will do in reaction to the thing that you're piloting is a really good way to get started on making an evaluation plan. Because once you have an idea of four or five different things that people might do as a reaction to your project, we can look at how to track that um, and how to make a plan to check, well, did people do it? Um, and what did it look like before you started your project? Um, so one last time, I want to see if Maria and Sadeep, if he's still there, have some ideas of what changes do we think that we will see if we can start with um, QR codes in the classroom or links to Wikipedia articles in the classroom? Yeah. Um, so one change that I'm thinking of, this is very easy. Uh, could also, we could also say it's the low hanging fruit. Um, would in the number of page views for articles. If So if we're adding QR codes, we expect people to scan them and visit those articles and we expect to see a spike uh, or or an increase in, in the page views yeah. uh, for, for those articles that we're sharing. That's a great idea. I think you're right. Um, so knowing, like, having a list of which articles you're going to post codes for um, and using the page view tool, you can start by looking at what are the average page views each week or day or month for those before your project. And then once it starts, are people going to them? Are page views going up? Uh, yes. Yeah, that can please be, share. Yes, that can be something interesting. Page views, of course, but if the, uh, if the project is too small, uh, we might not be able to evaluate uh, much in that case. So in, uh, in, in that case, we might have to look for something like um, how many people are accessing Wikipedia from a certain location, a city or, or, or a region, and how is that changing uh, instead of just the general page views of the project. OK, so you want to see if the number of page views in a city or a region is going up. And maybe that's for a general kind of awareness campaign. So I don't know how to get access to that information. I know that the Wikimedia Foundation does have some country level analysis of page views each month. Um, but I think with a pilot project, it would be really hard to affect an entire country um, and see significant change there. Um. Yeah, I, another, um, yes, that, that's, that's probably uh, sensitive to say, um, sensible. Uh, another, another thing that could be measured is how many, um, how many kids within the classroom start referring to Wikipedia as the place they got the information from. Okay, how could we find that out? Um, so we could, I was thinking, we could just mark it down every time 
uh, or we ask them, where did you get this from? Uh, uh, when they do an assignment, for example, okay. um, we, we can do like a mini survey or informal survey. It can even be the teacher asking uh, after the, the student presented the, the homework, where did you get this from and how many kids say, I got it from Wikipedia. Yeah, I think that you raise a, a good point there. Um, finding out, do more students use Wikipedia for their homework? Um, and you shared a few ways that we could find that out. And I think it's important to stress, like, what is something that's really easy to do? Um, and asking people to raise their hands if they did something is a great way to do that. Um, if you are going to visit a classroom and tell people about Wikipedia, you might ask first, like give a short fun quiz of like, okay, I think Wikipedia is a place to meet friends and see how many people raise their hands. Or I think Wikipedia is um, a place to get restaurant reviews. Something like that, make like a funny quiz. I think Wikipedia is a place to get good answers to information about our history or my country's history. Um, so you, you could create some kind of uh, like hands up survey that you could do in visiting a classroom or ask a teacher to um, ask that question on a weekly basis for three weeks and see if something is changing over time. Ask the teacher to write down the number of hands that went up in response to that question. Um, Maria also said that a survey could be something that you try doing. So there are some easy survey tools that you can use, um, like Google Forms, for people who do have access to the internet when you're working with them. Um, asking people to do surveys at the time, like when you are seeing them, is really important to getting them done. Um, if you don't have people who are online, a short handwritten survey might be something that you consider, but only if you have someone who can help you keep track of those results afterward. Um, I'm thinking one other thing. Oh, with Telegram, uh, which is a messaging app, and I think I've seen this on Instagram and maybe also WhatsApp is, you can do short polls where you ask a couple of questions or tell someone to say yes or no to something. Um, I think if you're doing some kind of social media campaign, you can ask people questions that way um, and see like what the responses are. Um, these are just ways to think, like I encourage people to think creatively about how they will get responses. And I think in places where you can't really measure, for example, are there more people in this city that are going to Wikipedia? You might be able to ask the audience that you're working with just to give a simple yes or no. Um, or ask people to do a specific action in, in response to, or to, when you're telling them about Wikipedia, give a call to action, ask them to do something. Um, so what I encourage people to do as they're moving forward and planning their pilots is just create a list of things, um, three or four things that you think could change. Um, and as we have those lists, we can help you narrow and define and look at what you're trying to do and see if there is something that, that will work um, to find that out. And I'd say think of what you can get through potentially a survey, and that's either a written survey or a verbal survey things that you can get from Wikipedia in terms of page views um, or, um, or video views, that's something that you can check, um, or things that you can get from social media or something else. So that would be how many retweets did you get or how many people shared a particular post or how many people viewed something. Um, having those in mind can help you think about how you're going to evaluate. Did it work? Did you reach something? Did people like what you created? Do they want to know more?